Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw was back in East Palestine today to renew the railroad company's commitment to the future of the village. A big concern is property value, so Shaw came to town with a commitment to improve East Palestine Park to make the community more appealing for people wanting to move there or stay. Alan Shaw's visit is our top story tonight at 10. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw today toured East Palestine Park because in East Palestine, the park is a big deal. What I've heard is it's like a, a draw for like everyone who lives in the community and the surrounding communities. Ab absolutely. Park foreman Brennan Harvey led the tour, starting at the swimming pool. Any given day, how many people are in this? You uh, said our big number last year was just over 600, and I think our average was around 280. Norfolk Southern has already committed to paying for training and $500 bonuses for lifeguards. But it's also hired an architect to develop an overall plan for the park. And once village officials approve, the improvements will be significant. My goal is to figure out and work with my team and work with the community leaders on what we can do to help enhance this, this park um, and make it even more of a draw and help, help the community thrive and help the community prosper. Shaw walked past the tennis and basketball courts, which Norfolk Southern paid to have power washed. Then it was onto the playground, where Norfolk Southern paid to have the mulch removed and replaced. You took it down to the bare bones. Yeah, yeah, down to the, down to the yeah. studs. After touring the inside of the community center, they went back outside and overlooked the grassy open area where people gather for one of the area's best 4th of July celebrations. Joining the tour was Marty Grimm, president of the East Palestine Community Foundation. It was the first time she met with Alan Shaw. Very pleased he listened to all of us. We asked questions about the businesses and, you know, were they being taken care of? And we asked about the mental health and what was going to be done for that and he he provided a, a lot of information for all of us and you're happy with the answers very very happy I also talked with Alan Shaw about the timetable to get the derailment site cleaned up about long-term private well sampling and Norfolk Southern possibly opening a permanent office in East Palestine what he had to say tomorrow on First News at 5 on WKBN and at 10 here on Fox Youngstown well, a big change in the weather this evening between 5 and 6 o'clock. The wind kicked up, and then what started as rain quickly changed to snow. Yeah, it did. Now, tonight, we need to be